Hey guys, bit of a uh, follow-up video here for another video that I've got out there just comparing a couple of preamps that I've got at my disposal. There's another one that's come back to the fold as well and it's the uh, Ultra Gain Pro from Behringer. It's had it since, ooh, gee, I don't know, uh, early 2000s maybe. So it's a tube in there. I don't think all the voltage runs through the tube at all. I think it's there for just a little bit of sideline colour. Um, not that that's a bad thing. But it's interesting. So now I've got three on the lineup. Uh, this microphone that I'm talking through now is the 58. Uh, it's got a bit of EQ and whatnot on it as well. But the one that I've got for you lined up is the Rode K2. And I've got three examples of that and uh, through different preamps. So they're all flat, so to speak. I've tried to ga gain everything pretty much the same so that... Um, so that you guys can get a pretty fair comparison. There's no roll-offs, there's everything in there, no EQ, no compression, no nothing. So I'll uh, give you a little listen, and uh, and you guys be the judge on what do you think, the color, listen for the top end, listen for the bottom end, listen for the mid-range, listen for anything that you can that stands out. I try to keep the delivery, 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 very similar just so that you guys can um, and try and have a pretty good comparison. So here we go, the first one up is the Allen Heath Z14. Hey guys, this is the Rode K2 through the Allen and Heath Z14 mixer. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And the next one we've got the Bayringer. Hey guys, this is the Rode K2 through the Ultra Gain Pro from Bayringer. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Definitely different. And the last one is the Ted Fletcher Pro, the P3, just a little half rack unit that I've got here. It's got opto compression on it and all that kind of thing, but uh, none of that is engaged as well as the EQ. So here we go. Hey guys, this is the Rode K2 through the Ted Fletcher P3. A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So there you go, just a little quick comparison on uh, what you might have at your disposal. Just try them out, put them on different things and uh, something like a voice where you've got a little bit of timber change and things like that and to see how they sound, you know, and um, use them for different applications where you can. So this might sound pretty good on this instrument or this might sound pretty good on this voice. Uh, think of all the S's that I've got in my voice and which one I want to choose for that. Hey guys, just a little heads up video. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, no, don't matter. Um, but uh, stick around. We've got some. We've got some more uh, these kind of videos coming up too. And uh, hit the subscribe button. That'd really help us out. And thanks so much for stopping by. We'll catch you soon. Cheers.